Well, that there is a fine bargain there, my new friends. I'll just have that uh, pulled around for you real quick. We can change over ownership, and you can be on your way this evening as we go finish our negotiations right here. And then he'll take your money for whatever it is you're buying for the for the Horizon Double Revolution. What uh, what color would you like your new vehicle to be? I think Dante was uh, taking a very quick bio. God damn it. Yeah. It was such good role play. Right? Sorry. Right. And it's like like Dante is spacing out for a second and Bob is like, Sir? He's so he's just He's just sitting there soiling himself. He is just basking in the uh the grandeur of his double revolution. Dante, what color is your new vehicle? Blue. Blue. Is it like a sky blue, a royal blue, a dark blue, baby blue? Cobalt blue. Cobalt blue. Okay. Cobalt blue. Flashy. So my man will have that around front for you. Lickety split. Now, to answer your other questions, what would you like to know about Mr. The Fish? Where does he do business? He typically does business out in the Tacoma Docks area. He's not exactly a uh, a big fish, not really a little fish. He is kind of known for his ruthless brutality. You see, guys, they call him Vinny the Fish because he wasn't always where he is today. He was a nobody. They were out on a fishing trip with some of the some of the family, as you may know. Being a nobody, he is low man on the totem pole. The folks on this fishing trip give him a hard time, make him get them drinks, make him clean the fish, make him operate that, and he does the thing with his arms, operate that little net thing to get the fish in. One time he's pulling this fish in, one of the other wise guys there, they give him a hard time, maybe a little bit too much of a hard time, give him a little push, he falls, the fish goes all up in his face, and they start laughing about it. That's when Vinny Ol snap, and he picks up this fish, and he beats the man to death with it. Nice. So. I mean, that's horrifying. I think I mean, that's one of the first times I've legitimately laughed out loud at something. <laughs> that's a big <laughs> fish. It was, I was quite the feat, I understand it. You know how these stories can get. They blow out of proportion sometimes. Maybe it was with the net. Maybe it was with the fishing rod. I don't know. I wasn't there, thankfully. However, all stories that I've heard of him being unstable. I've never done business with the man personally, and I'm happy to keep it that way. Do you happen to know what he's dealing in at the moment? At the moment, I do not. Because, as I said, I don't deal with him directly. I Word on the street is one of my prime, shall we say, advantages as to where I am. Many people come to me to to purchase or unpurchase certain vehicles. And he is a dealer, not like a an enforcer. He is the kind of man that enjoys the hands-on approach, if you understand what I am saying. I have two charisma, I don't. <laughs> he is the kind of man that, when he goes asking for protection money, he does not send Knuckles and Bruno. He accompanies Knuckles and Bruno, makes them watch the door, and gets his money himself. Uh, don't want to be racist, but what are we looking at? Like a really big human? A troll? He is a moderately cybered human individual. Okay, that's more info that I was looking for, but thanks. <laughs> ah, here comes your vehicle now, gentlemen. And he'll get up to to walk you guys towards it. Uh, um, um, D Dante? Sue? Your money's, like, running out. Whose money's running out? What? I mean, he, he's uh, getting us to the door. I feel like that's a sign for the end of the conversation. We gave us an address in the Tacoma docks, right? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, he says he works out of the Tacoma Docks. He gave you a bunch of information about what he, like, uh, he does get into protection and uh, some of the local did, businesses there you could look into. Um, did he give us an address or is it just the docks? The docks are an interesting place because actual ownership of the individual, like, warehouses and piers and that kind of stuff fluctuates a little bit from, you know, as times go. Um, so you could you could dig around there and find find him, or at least find like where the mafia is operating out of for that opportunity. Uh, you could also check some of the local businesses because he mentioned. I'm sorry. I'm not wild about just going down to the warehouse district and asking if anybody can point me to the mafia. <laughs> Do you have one mafias, please? Yeah. <laughs> He can also um, give you a, a description of the guy that you would maybe be able to, to pick him out, depending on how good your perception rolls are. Well, yeah, aren't, the dogs, uh, aren't the dogs... Aren't the dogs, like, the place where you buy parts? Sorry, sorry, go on, sir. There was a lot of conversation. Oh, Dante, are you good with that information for your money? As long as I get a good description of the guy. Yeah. You get a pretty good All description. Right, then. And you also get a vehicle. Yeah. Which, um... Like, if you want to get the used model with nothing fancy in it, it's just going to be, like, half price, but, like, all of its attributes are, are basically negative, too. Or you can get, like, a the book one for the book price, and you can kind of throw whatever it is you want into it. Okay. I'm going to have to look at stats and stuff. Sure. I'm, I'll probably go full price with some mods, if I had to guess. Yep. And if you guys want, you can go ahead and add Big Bob to your character sheet as, like, a... Well... For those of you who did not purchase a vehicle at like a three one, for those of you who do, at a three two. <laughs> Does that include the people who were not part of the art of the deal? Uh, sure, because you guys, you guys know about him as a uh, a man of questionable morals. Oh, okay, so three one. Yeah. And he's got all kinds of, uh, say, bonuses for doing things related to vehicles. Hmm. Doing things. Yeah. Vehicles. You know. Mind out of your mind out of the gutter, Sue. <laughs> you know, if for say you were to be caught in a high speed chase and needed to ditch ditch a vehicle quickly. He's probably uh, someone you could talk to. I'm assuming he also knows uh, people for modifications and such? Yeah. Alright, cool. Okay. I guess for now I'm just going to uh, have the autopilot follow Rot around because I can't drive. I mean, it's also one of the most ridiculous vehicles to try and drive. Oh, I'm sure. But it sounds amazing. I mean, it is a giant wheel that you sit in the middle of and drive via, like, um, AR, like, display on in front of you because there's a giant wheel blocking your line of sight. I, I would love... never... I would Go never ahead. buy something like this, but I, I will totally look at it for you, Dante. And I'm like, you know trying to sound like I will just do it for a friend, but I'm actually kind of interested in this thing. Sure. It's, uh... It seems as though... Let me let me elaborate here. It has all okay. of its parts, but as you're looking at it with a mechanics eye rot, you can tell that not all of its parts are um, from the same one, as if certain parts had been removed and replaced with different uh, with different parts from the other... Uh, I mean, I can appreciate a mechanic's job. I, I, if anything breaks, I will fix it for you. Yeah, it, it's got all the parts and stuff, so you don't have to worry about that, but it has definitely been, like, the file, you can't find any serial numbers embedded in it. That's weird. I'm good. Well, I'm a shadow runner. That's not exactly weird. Yeah. How do you stop? <laughs> Very carefully. <laughs> There's no brakes? Huh, interesting. How would there be? 
the whole uh, tire. Anyway, it would it would just kind of grab the tire probably underneath where you sit, and then you'd fall over. Yeah, no, it's Stop it's not exactly a safe. Too hard. <laughs> it's not exactly a safe vehicle. Um. Huh. So yeah, no. Um. All right. What are we doing? I, are we driving like to the going. docks? I've actually moved on to wondering how you get a sidecar onto it. I don't think that you do. You can. By the way, one bounce. on each side. There you go. Yeah. One on each side. <laughs> All right. It's like training wheels. I love I was, that. That is, that is uh, great. Uh, I was about to ask you, Bams. Uh, aren't the docks the place where there's like a lot of uh, warehouses and maybe parts? Because I, I was imagining I have like a medium lifestyle lifestyle of Seattle garage, I named it, because I wasn't really feeling decisive. But I was seeing something, uh, envisioning something like a like a warehouse place where I have a garage with a car and I can tinker with it and shit. So would it be plausible to be at a docks or is it the docks exclusively for holding stuff? Uh, the docks would probably be a bit more... Um... A bit more than just that, because it's like boats are coming in and out all the time. Idle property is property that's not making anybody money. So, like, if you had a place, okay. that it would probably be more expensive than just like the the special work area. You could totally have like a small garage in Tacoma if you wanted. But... No, no, okay, okay. I don't have to decide right now, but I I would probably. I w I just wanted to ask what were the dogs. I just remembered as you mentioned the dogs. Sure. Okay, so we're driving to the docks, and the wheel thingy is driving behind us. Sure is. Can um, I? Oh, never mind. Can you? Uh... Nah, never mind. Sure. So you guys are gonna roll up into the docks at like ten o'clock at night. Exactly to where Vinny is. <laughs> Just there. <laughs> okay. Okay, so uh, you guys arrive at the docks. It is not quite in full swing, but it looks like a very, very busy area. There's boats, there are people unloading boats, there's a lot of warehouses, there's a decent amount of security just kind of hanging around, and uh, it's a big area. What would you guys like to do? Um, I guess we'd have to ask someone. Didn't uh, Bobby Boy give us the uh, name of somebody who we could possibly talk to? Not so much the name, because he doesn't deal with this guy directly, but he did tell you that he does hang out at the docks, and that he does, uh, you know, he is definitely mafia associated, so you could give like a, uh, a bit of a look and kind of nail down which guys like that area over there with those buildings has a lot of Italian looking gentlemen and those buildings over there have a lot of Japanese looking gentlemen and those guys right there in the middle are a bunch of Russians oh man we need ties I'm so happy that this vehicle's completely in case <laughs> I will be staying inside of it in case in what way it says you are inside a tire. You are hidden from raining lead. It says it right in the description. I think it's got like you a bubble there. Anything. It's all aren't you driving? Aren't you driving in my van, which is also yeah. completely encased? But you said you weren't driving your thing because you can't drive. It has a pilot it's auto soft. Yeah, that's great. Guy. No, he's rain. So he's got. It's got like walls. Like you can't shoot through it. It's like um, a clear bubble. It's only a six armor, so you could shoot through it, but you'd have to shoot through it. Oh, okay. I thought you would just be, like, you know... I don't know what I was thinking. I'm having a hard time with this concept. Oh, that's if it has the, uh, like, the rigor cocoon on it, I think, that it closes you off from the outside world. The, one picture the revolution is an enclosed monocycle that puts the driver inside the wheel. Uh, yeah, I guess. Alright. This thing is more ridiculous. Yep. Makes it better. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Cyclops is the one that is open. Uh, that might be what I was thinking of then. 
It's yeah. ridiculous that they have yeah. two of these vehicles. Delightful. It's the future, man. Yeah, right? What was I thinking? Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, you guys are hanging around outside the docks. Uh, we're looking for the uh, the Italian gentleman, I think. Sure. Right? Are you guys we don't driving? have the organized crime knowledge, so we're just looking around. Sure. You guys know enough just from, like, black markets and that kind of stuff that, like... The docks is kind of like a... Ah, uh, what's the phrasing here? Like a neutral ground. So many different organized crime things do business here that, like, if one group starts something, it's going to kind of come down on everybody because at the moment, law enforcement doesn't really want to... wouldn't have to do any actual work. They're happy to accept their bribes as long as the criminals keep the docks quiet. Whereas if suddenly stuff flares up and there's gunfights and all kinds of other shenanigans going on, then all of a sudden the knight errant has to do things. And that's... That'd be mutually assured destruction. Exactly. And there's just so much... like You're pretty sure you can look out there and you can see a bunch of these boxes or whatever that these people are moving around and just be like, yeah, no, there's illegal stuff all over the place out there. Would my black market... Uh knowledge skill help at all? Uh, maybe. Let's let's see how many hits you get. Alright. I only got a seven dice pool. I'm wondering if I should add some edge. Well, how much I mean, do you have? we seem to have Sorry. overlapping interests since I also have black markets, but I have like, since my logic is higher, I have a little more of it. You guys could totally sure. teamwork it. I'm talking to, it's like sitting in the back right. of the thing talking about Still. So so I'll teamwork it. Uh, I'll I'll take the, uh, the assist. Okay. Uh, Bams, since black market, it has like this stupid professional academic street something something. Uh, which one would I pick for the black markets? Uh, it would probably be an interest for you. So it would be based off your intuition. Alright, you get three extra dice. No, that's, that's not how you do that. I just Small accidentally function. removed the five, so... Sure. Are you comfortable with three levels of success? Am I comfortable? No, I think I'll uh, I'll edge it. Sure. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Six is way better. All right. So with six hits, you know that there is, as I mentioned, a whole lot of uh, contraband and smuggling that goes in and out of the docks. They typically don't do any direct selling here because that's a little too a little too obvious of a uh, of an attention getter for the cops to just not you know something about a guy driving onto the docks and buying a uh, a couple of assault rifles and putting them in his trunk and driving off is like you know what let's let's stop that car because that's something that's that's not good there um, that being said they are not above like somebody coming in and making a deal to smuggle something in or out with any one of them. Um, most of the stuff, though, is just is just transported from here out to someplace else for them to actually sell it. It could be the crime mall. It could be any number of back rooms at any number of establishments, depending upon which of the individual ones. Uh, oh, I have to take you guys to the crime mall. It's awesome. We've been. And you never said something? Wow, Jet, we need to really talk about some stuff. No, we were literally there with all the oh, drugs. Job. You were there with... Yeah. Um, were there specific questions that you might want to ask that are black market related? Um, Jet, any ideas? Uh, where the... Mafia area might be located, uh, what they generally deal in, 
I believe they tend to stick to more, like they do drugs, but not like as much. They are more into more civilized crime, protection. Uh, what the hell's the other thing? Gaming, gambling, and there was some. There was another thing that's like counterfeit olive oil. Is it embezzlement that I'm thinking of? Where like, you know, you you buy a property because you tanked the uh, the property value, and then you you know no, hide. embezzlement is where you uh, steal a company's funds. Or steal yeah, what you're, of it what what you're talking funds. about is uh, New York real estate. <laughs> <laughs> for New York. Okay, is the uh, is the uh, mafia property like uh, separated, or is it like a, just one huge place? They kind of have their territory. I want to say they're more in the downtown areas. I click. On they're them. like in uh, a famia, uh, f Jesus, a uh, family sort of uh, relation. Yeah. So is there like okay. one family or many ma families? There are because we're many looking for Vinny. Um, looking for Vinny, so would there be any, any indication as to where are we looking for him? Uh, Quick question: Are they still into tracksuits these days, and I mean, members only jackets? I feel like that is more of the Russian things, the tracksuits. Ah, uh, you'd be surprised. Um, so the big. Mafia families in Seattle are these guys: Carnello, Biggio, and Finnegan. Um, Finnegan. To, according to the Google, and let me click on one of these at random. Yes, yeah, Sue. The Irish and the Italian mobs eventually merged. Huh. Yep. The Mictalians are pretty popular up here, at least. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it doesn't actually tell me any information about them. Um, so the different families are going to be operating in, in different areas, and for the most part, we'll, we'll cooperate, at least as, as much as one can when you're competing, but still, uh, but still family, as it were. You know, at least you're not a, a yak or a Vori or anything else, really. Um, but that's not exactly, like, black market sort of knowledge. Um, but yeah, no, what else? I feel like there was something I missed in there. Okay, uh, just, um, would there be any knowledge in this, like, black market skill check that would tell us, get us closer to Vinny, like, where w he was, like, fishing and and that's near to a mafia sort of like place. Anything? I mean, I can't just think of not, anything right not now. Not really but... under black markets. That'd be more of like oh, a, okay. an organized crime or a mafia specifically, or in a couple of hours when uh, Hex comes back with some Googled information. Wait, is Dante staying in his little bubble? Because yep. we could really use a con artist right about now. Uh, but Dante doesn't want to come out since there's a, a, a Russian people looking territory. But, I mean, I don't know what he's talking about and why is he not coming out, but still. He's enjoying his fine new vehicle. It's got that glorious used car smell. Yeah, he even hung <laughs> a little, like, fake tree thing in there. Jed um, is going to text Dante, Yo, you want to lay off the air freshener and... Give us a hand here. I mean, or we can or send it in Sue. Again. I mean, you guys also do know that Hex is Googling things, so you could wait for Hex to come back. Or you could... Uh... Yeah. Alright, let's talk I mean... about timelines. Uh, what day is it today? Um, let's say that it is Thursday. And our time limit for the job is Sunday evening? He didn't really give you a time limit for the job. He just wants like. Well, he said the uh, finish it by the weekend, right? By the end. The, of the faster, weekend, right? the better. The faster, he the better, because on... there is another guy that is uh, another guy or two that is working on trying to figure out what's going on. Oh 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 oh! Uh, is there like too much to ask from Hex to sort of like uh, send her a message to 
look for the guy by any chance. Well, so I imagine you guys are sitting like down the street from the docks, maybe like up on a hill, kind of just looking at the place. Um, mm -hmm. Nobody, to my knowledge, has attempted to take a look at it other than like just the periphery of like there's a bunch of Italian guys, there's a bunch of Japanese guys. Maybe before we approach anybody, we want Hex to finish what she's doing. Uh, I, I would definitely want her to be conscious if anything goes wrong. I mean, you can interrupt the Matrix search if, like, yo, we need you to no! pick up a gun. Not to mention, I believe she needs six successes. She only rolled five to start with, right? So you're going to have to go through another 12-hour down period. Is that the mechanics? Something about that, yeah. Uh, it is would that be like a day? Yeah. Yeah. Hex, can you put that on hold and uh, do a standard search for uh, Joe Pesci over there? Vinny the fish. Pesci means fish, and Vinny, as in my cousin Vinny. I rest my case. Yeah, yeah that was movie. actually pretty clever. That movie's great. So you want me to put the Matrix check, a Matrix search on hold, and you want me to search for another person? Yeah, kinda. Oh wow, I disconnected for a second. We want you to stop being uh, unconscious and start being unconscious for something else. That's what I thought. That's what I thought you said. Yeah, because, I mean, I don't think walking into a black market, like a, a mob-rich area and saying, Hi, we'd like to talk to Vinish the Fish. Although, although, work. although, although, uh, I would send Dante and Sue in a pair, and I think they could do that. See, hold on, here's the thing. Didn't I, um, wasn't I searching for Vinny the Fish first instead of Big Bob? Yeah. Oh yeah. Big you Bob, you okay. came from a uh, came from a knowledge roll, not from a not from a yeah. Google. Plus, and Google all on. those things, but you were out because you're googling. Hex, you are aware of the fact that you have intel gathering methods that may or may not fly or crawl. Okay, but you said you want me to stop searching for Vinny. I keep disconnecting. No, Vinny. no, it's fine. You're already searching for Vinny the fish. It's cool. So. Well, I'm just saying, you wanted me to stop searching for Vinny the Fish to start searching for Vinny the Fish? But do the 30-minute search, because you're going to have to go through another pass to get your six successes. Uh-huh. So that's the current thought they're kicking around. But I was thinking, since you're doing a deep dig on Vinny the Fish, I forgot that you were doing that. Not a big deal. This is uh, Hex, deep. can... Uh, not, sorry, Rot. Can you uh, just get an eye in the sky to look so I know where to sneak? Uh, you remember the situation with, like, Texas Red? Yeah, but and he's his... a psychopath, all right? Just, I mean... Uh, okay, he's a very skilled one-person psychopath shooter, and there are, like, many people there that don't want their stuff to But if down. guns start going off, cops are gonna come. Uh, yeah, but my drones still will be destroyed. I don't know. I just bought them. They still smell new. Rod, what, why did you buy them if we're not going to use them, man? I don't know. I haven't asked myself that question yet. Uh, you know what? I can I can jump into a fly spy and then sort of like uh, I jumped in have a little more things to do. Uh, but what am I looking for? Like, a guy who holds a fish for a weapon? Or the I guy mean... They gave us the description of, you know, whichever you prefer. A cyber or... uh, human being? That's probably more common than you think. Or where we can't... Where I... Where the richest area of Gujins are so that I can sneak and try and get some info. Sorry, Gujins. Guido, whatever. Italianos, and, mafiosos. And Big Bob, quote-unquote, gave us a pretty accurate description. 
Yeah. We just never actually typed or spoke it out because. Yeah, okay. It's okay. Not I didn't catch that. Um, so can I do that? Jump into my fly spy and use my electronic warfare? I, I believe to sort of look. Yeah. Or yeah, absolutely. Is it electronic warfare, or when I'm jumped in, it's something else? Uh, it can be electronic warfare, or it can be um, perception. It's up to you. Definitely electronic warfare plus my rig, right? Yep. Okay. And if you so, want to give me a, a a sneaking roll just to be sneaky. Yeah. Okay. Do you have those stealth auto softs? Uh, yeah, I bought them, but that's not for the flying eye. That's for the uh, for the fly spy, okay. which I'm not using anyway since I'm jumped in. Yeah, when he's jumped in, he doesn't need to worry about auto softs. Oh, okay. So it's like uh, four plus my rig, right, or something else. It would be uh, your um, your intuition plus your I'm sorry, it'd be your logic plus your electronic warfare plus your hot your. No, 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 the sneaking. Sneaking. Oh, uh, logic plus sneaking, plus hot plus control rig bonus. Oh, so how much is hot? Because there's like uh, eight for logic, then there's one for sneaking because I'm awesome sneaker. Uh, plus two. So nine plus two, so that's eleven. Plus how much is hot, uh, sim? Or is it like uh, you get your the, control uh, rig rather than the, the hot sim? I believe. Oh, uh, okay. So it's eleven total. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You also get size and distance modifiers too, right? Or do you just not bother with those? Uh, most times I don't generally bother with those unless it's like... Because uh, that's more for like sensors figuring them out rather than somebody. And with, Look at the fly being sneaky. Yeah, and with that. All right. And then and you want to roll that perception test and we'll uh, we'll see what happens. See what kind of information you get. Also, because I'm curious. Was that clock placed there intentionally? Or is yeah. that a holdover from... Okay. No, that's a new clock. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm not worried. I was just curious. Yeah. Looking at stuff. Looking at stuff. So you're easily able to find the uh, yeah. the mafia in area. And you're going to be able to look around seeing a whole bunch of people doing a bunch of stuff. Not too many of the, the Italian folks are doing any of the actual heavy lifting. They've got a bunch of guys of different meta types. You'll notice it's a lot of uh, mid thirties human males and orcs, uh, but you'll just kind of be driving around, flying for a little bit. Probably take, let's say, ten minutes, and you're gonna find one of the smaller boats that is towards the one end of the dock, and there's a man that matches any of the fish's description. He's got two. He never left his boat. He's got two other guys on the boat that are also Italian, and there's a guy that's kind of on his knees. He doesn't have, like, a bag over his head, but he's very obviously tied up and sitting on the uh, on the boat. Uh, oh, wow. Vinny um, the Fish has got some nice slacks on, suspenders, white button-up shirt. His sleeves are rolled up. Uh, straight, greasy black hair. Five o'clock shadow. In at, moment, at the moment, he has a cigarette dangling out of his mouth. Um, guys, I wasn't exactly expecting him to find him at work, but he's at work. And I sort of like uh, I get my fly to come back and jump out and relay the information. Like, oh, um, I think we're interrupting him. Is there anything else you want? Because you did get five hits, so I can give you a bunch of. Uh, okay, so is the area. Uh, are the guys armed? The the guys at the docks in general, or the guys with Vinny? No, no I, I believe the dock the dock guys are armed, but the uh, Vinny guys. Vinny himself, you do not see a weapon on him. Uh, the two guys, one has like an SMG, the other one just has a. It looks like a uh, some kind of shoulder holster for like a pistol or a machine pistol. Couldn't really tell because he didn't have it like. Brandished. Okay. Uh, can I tell like anything about the guy that's tied up? Like maybe meta type? Uh, he is human. Let's say younger, um, European. Kind of hard to narrow down in in the light and the 
the fact that he's probably been roughed up a little bit at, at the moment. Yeah, okay. Uh, and the you mode got a mic on that thing? Is in, uh, a laser mic, yes. Hello, oh, wait. Uh, uh, I believe I gotta check. Uh, yeah, it has a sensor array, so I would have a laser mic. Laser mic. Sure. Do you um, so again, electronic warfare plus the thing. Yeah, let's see how uh, how well that goes because laser mics are a little weird, I believe. They are. They just don't work properly. Yeah, it's got to be against a solid object like a window pane or something. His button would be enough. Yeah, but anyway, boat. in the in this situation, you're you're not going to be able to get really anything out of it between the boat being in the water, all of the the noise of the docks, and the boat not being and a, the boat uh, swinging, not being a great target to get that kind of stuff off of. Okay, okay. How? Um. Sorry. Go ahead. I was just thinking, like, his overall mood, is he, like, super happy? Is he, like, uh, focused on his job or, like, grim? Um, he might have a case of resting bitch face, or he could be very upset. It's kind of hard to tell. Okay. I, I don't have any more stuff. So, sure. Jet? How far is the uh, boat from any, like, the, the main buildings or any shipping containers? There's plenty of stuff for you to, like, duck and roll and hide behind. It's a, it's a busy dock. But an actual distance from, like, the... Like, is that what you're looking for? Or are you looking for an actual distance from something? Not a hard measurement, but, uh, like... If I could get close enough to try and eavesdrop on him. Yeah, no, you can totally... Without being seen. Well, without being seen right. depends upon your sneaking roll. Ideal conditions. Yeah, no, there are there All are right. boxes and things. You could even go for a swim and, like, go underneath the dock out by the boat if you wanted. And you just jump out on the boat and, Hi, I would like to talk to Vinny the Fish. Uh, let's not go that far. Uh, Rot, keep an uh, eye on me in case, you know, Okay. I, die. I just I just get unconscious, like Hex, uh, and uh, you just sit kinda, on your shoulder. You just kind of spoon with Hex, it's fine. Aww. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. Sure. Um, okay, I have a bulky metallic Thanks. arm, Hex. Do you guys want to do anything else before he goes off on his sneaking excursion? Um, so I believe, like, I'm going in a uh, fly spy, uh, Jed is going, uh, Dante's staying. I'll sneak with him. So it's staying. Sure, let's just yeah. check in then to make sure you guys, if you guys wanted to do anything. No, Dante said something. Yeah, I'm gonna jump out and sneak around with Jet. I'm just gonna wear my mask. It's probably, is it, is it a ballistic mask or is it a mask mask? Ballistic mask. Okay, just so. If... I'm gonna throw on my ballistic mask as well. Sure, just so I know, you know, hmm, that guy over there is wearing a payday mask on his face. He's clearly up to no good. Actually, yeah. right now I think I have better stats on my uh, goggles, so. Sure. So, okay, what do you guys want me doing during all this? Well, my friend, you have, like, oh. uh... Astral perception. You could be like flying astral, or maybe just check if you can fly astral. You so there were like three can't. unconscious people. At least watch over the van, somebody. I mean, <laughs> you get three bodies in it. That's an interesting van. Three unconscious people next to the dogs. Sure hope but no criminals put it up on blocks and steal the tires. That's what the automated turrets are for. <laughs> I don't have money for them, but I, I guarantee as soon as we get the payday, I will get them. Okay, I guess I'll check the, uh, the, I don't know, boat, wharf area. Sure, you're just gonna kind of whoosh off into the astral and give it a look. Whoosh uh, off. And I'm going to edge my roll. 
Where was your roll? Oh, there's your sneak sneak roll. Uh, so are you sensing the area? Or are you sensing Vinny? Are you... What's your... Am I... Am I able to see Vinny as an individual? Not really from here. You could actually project, like, you know where he is. You could project, fly your, your astral form over there and kind of figure it out. I'd like to just check out the area before I go doing that and make sure that there's, like, I don't know, not spirits patrolling. Sure. Um... So just giving it a quick look in the astral, it immediately kind of feels... You feel almost tired kind of creeping in on you just from the amount of, like, work that people are doing. It kind of just, like, oppressive and weighing on you a little bit. Um, looking around, you will see that there are a couple of spirits that are just kind of in the area. Some of them have very... Like, one is a large bear that is just kind of hanging out over the area that you assume... That the uh, that the Vories were at, there's a not quite a dragon, but a very um, I'm trying to think of something that would look oriental that is not a dragon. Lion, a tiger, a, a tiger. lucky cat. <laughs> I love the idea of it. Okay, there is totally a lucky cat that is sitting on top of like the the Yakuza yes. area. And then uh, the mafia area has what looks like a looks like a mafia flying guy, spaghetti people. monster. No, <laughs> it is, it is, yeah. it is awesome. clearly a spirit of man in a suit, you know, with one hand permanently in the pocket. We're gonna have words, uh, Dante, and fat this, cheeks. This may we're gonna be, have um... words, Rod. Hmm. This Maybe may... I should whistle up a spirit of my own. You could. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, same. Yeah. Mobster's hand is never in his pockets because he's always talking. <laughs> it's the part of the joke that is funny is that everyone knows that some mobsters actually masturbate quite frequently. So about that spirit. Uh, yeah, I think you need to talk to it or, like, get seen by it, or... Well, no, he wants uh, to He wants to sum mention summoning his own spirit. Yeah, I mean, I've had one hanging around for a while, but I don't want to use him. Sure, you could summon a different one. You just bound the spirit. Why would you need to use the bound spirit that cannot go home? We just hang out and watch TV and shit, dude. Weird. Yeah. Spirits can't watch TV. Oh, they can't? No. They can't. <laughs> you didn't know that, and he's just staying there. What are we watching? Oh, shh. They, uh, <laughs> their only I would, method I... of, like, taking in the world is through astral perception. So he can get the emotionalness of the trid projector, but not what the trid projector is actually saying. Or he can watching... manifest, though, right? What's that? He can manifest, though, right? Yep. And that's... Congratulations. If I... He, he does not actually have perception. They cannot perceive the world. Like, if they were to look at a computer screen, they would get the feeling of probably depression and mundanity and that kind of stuff because that's the emotional... Uh, well, what I'm driving at is, can he play foosball with me? I mean, he could try. He's not going to be very good at it. As long as it's not well, digital I mean... foosball. Well, yeah, I was... I mean, no, I meant like, foo like a foosball table. I... Yeah, I basically like, bounce a spirit to hang out with me. The, like, he doesn't see colors. He, it would be a gray formless thing with little gray formless things on it trying to hit another gray formless thing that's bouncing around. Well, shit, I'll have to figure out what he likes to do then. Uh, anyhow. Um... <laughs> you never thought about it but, uh, up until now. I love this. I just assumed that he was like me, only ghosty looking. Guys, can we get away from the spirit bros thing and back to the job? <laughs> so, um, did you want to summon a new one to do something, or...? Um, yeah. Well, I mean, we'll see how many things I get. Sure. Um, so that's magic plus... Summoning. Spellcasting. 
plus summoning. Or plus summoning. Summoning. Okay. Um, I'm going to summon a man spirit. What's force? Um, the way that you think of it, the force is roughly equivalent to like their logic rating. Yeah, most of their uh, their mental attributes are are based upon their fo all of their attributes are based upon their force. But the um, the higher the force, the smarter the thing is going to be. Force three will probably do. Sure. Um, how can I use reagents to help me here? Spending reagents will allow you to set the limit. Like right now, at a force three, you can only uh, keep three hits off of your test. So if you spend mm -hmm. four reagents, you can keep four. If you spend five, you can keep five, and so on. Like it, it sets the new limit. So you how would, cast it at a lower level, but you keep more hits. Yep. How is um how is how does drain get impacted by reagents? It doesn't. Drain is based upon the number of hits that I roll on my my resistance to your summoning test. All right. I don't really expect that I'm going to get more than four hits or three hits, so I'll I'll save them for now. Sure. Let's see some dice. Wow! I missed the magic dice. Although I oh, see. Man, <laughs> you are allowed to post edge to break the limit if you wanted to keep all six of those. But this, do you have six magic, Sue? Yeah. Oh, so maybe do. That is up to you, sir. Yeah. Go ahead and roll uh, your edge and exploding sixes if you like, and you may keep all of these hits. Roll edge? Yep. But like, uh, after the fact, how? You like all the rest of the dice? No, you just roll your edge attribute. Oh, okay. Uh, my total or current? Total. That's a nice, powerful spirit that will be able to aid us. Alright, let's see. Good. You now have to resist two drain, and you have seven services on this spirit. Man! Well, I'm going to have to use them up pretty quick. You have until sunrise, which is probably about six hours from now. Uh, so after you're done, after you're done with whatever you're doing, you can probably uh, conceal uh, Jet and Dante. If it has the concealment power, that's totally a thing you could do. Okay, so what are you doing with the spirit and with yourself? Well, and Jeff and Dante situation. Right now I'm uh, drained. Oh yeah, you're good. And it was what kind of spirit? Man. Okay. So a... Uh, Man. A spirit of man appears next to you in the astral, uh, eagerly awaiting orders. Okay. Uh, and right now, Jed and Dante are sort of infiltrating. Yep, they're like getting out of their vehicles and are kind of sneaking down towards the dock. Looking sneaky. Um. Okay. Uh, it only has one pow one power, right? One optional power. It has a bunch of powers that it just gets for. Um... Oh, okay. So, yeah, I do. So, guys, just so you all know, uh, what this guy can do. Um. Concealment, confusion. Uh. He has a bunch influence. of stuff that he can do. Yeah. And then the optional power, should I go with movement, you think? Or I can teach him any spell that I know. Um, 
I have no idea. Movement is is something that he could like apply it to the van if we needed to make a really quick getaway. Well, I guess we'll be running, not shooting. So maybe maybe movement. Uh, unless there's a spell you really want, but still, I, I would think we can uh, we can go with movement for now. It's not a bad one. Okay. All right. Are well, you uh, using any of his services right now, or are we moving on to sneaky sneaky? No, I'm just gonna let those guys know that uh, I have him available. Sure. Um, I'm curious as to how concealment would work, though. Can I use it on them? It would have to, to materialize to do it, but it could totally do it. Really? Doesn't that defeat the point of concealing? Like, uh... It doesn't have to be, like, next to them, but it has to be on the physical plane to affect physical things. Oh, okay. Cool. So, it can just kind of... What, is your, uh, what does your spirit of man look like? What is my what? What does your spirit of man look like? <laughs> Um, well, he oh, would look no. um, <laughs> kind of like a cross between Sigmund Freud and an orc. <laughs> Orkman Freud? Yeah. Okay. Freud Gorkman? Um, just like a hint of slightly uh, porcine features. Sure, so maybe like a bit of a smushed nose and some tusks. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So he'll pop up and then he'll, you know, charge you with service. And Jet and Dante become a little bit harder to, to spot as they sneakily make their ways off into the uh, into the docks. Um, his, his magic is his force, right? Correct. Okay, so people are at negative three to, to locate them. Yes. Okay. Which is going to take them out of able to roll dice to, to beat their rolls because they both got four successes so I don't have to roll dice because they're going to be at uh, negative three and then a bunch of like things being really busy around them situational modifiers so unless you guys okay. do something crazy you'll be pretty okay sneaking into this place um, and I'll just feed him a couple of reagents sure um, you guys are going to be able to get down there pretty pretty easily. People don't even notice you. You're feeling pretty good. Are you guys just heading over towards where Larry is? Or, not Larry, I'm sorry. Wrong, uh, wrong organized crime associate. To where Vinny is, or are you checking something else out first? Uh... Probably stop to listen to any potential mafia conversations. Um, sure, if you guys want to want to roll per, like an audio perception to just see what you can pick up that way. Sure. Uh, babe, what's going on back there? I don't know what is going on back there. Tell me more. What's uh. going on? What's going on? Let's go. Sorry, I won't punish you guys by trying to sing again. The worst part is that that's recorded for eternity on the internet. Yeah, that's why I think you should at least finish. You know, you said A, just say B and go full on diva. No, Things see, might work out. the The internet might completely crash twice. I would be so lucky. Uh, and then, Chet, do you also want to? All right, twinsies. <laughs> both four hits on sneaking, both three hits on audio perception. Um, so you guys are going to kind of err on the side of not getting super close to them because you you don't want to uh, get shot. Yeah, you don't want to get shot. You don't want to raise the alarm. You you. I believe Sue mentioned that he did some kind of magical bullshit to help you guys out, but you guys don't know how strong a magical bullshit, and it's best to not. You know, take any extra risks that you don't need to. Um, a lot of these guys aren't talking about anything super interesting. It's a lot of like latest urban brawl, 
talking about going out to eat after work. Um, at least so far as the uh, just the normal workers. You'll catch the occasional group of mafia guys that are um, clicking, I guess. You know, like three of them here, they're all smoking. Um, they're the only guys you notice that are actually carrying weapons. The normal worker guys don't seem to be carrying any. And you're just going to kind of mosey your way through this. When you get close to the end of the dock, though, there's going to be a small group of mafiosos who are having a little bit more of a worried conversation. Um, and one of them's going to say to the others, like, do you think that he's going to uh, keep it together? Or do you think that we're going to have to pay a bigger bribe? Or not, he won't say a bigger bribe. He'd probably say something about making a, uh, a donation to the policeman's ball. Or do you think he's going to go out for a... Uh, you know, one guy's like talking about the ball. The one's like, you know, maybe he'll just go out on the for a little midnight fishing trip. You know how he likes those sometimes. Do you guys want to hang out, or do you guys want to keep going further down the dock? Um, I'm gonna message uh, Dante. Uh, I'll go ahead. You listen in on those guys, maybe. Uh start looking through some of these containers, see if we can get a lead on something. Sure. Sure. Um, so as you move further down the thing, the conversation's got to continue. It's like, you know, he's he's a scary dude sometimes, man. I don't want to get on his bad side. I'm just going to stay here, and we're just going to make sure that nobody goes and bothers them. You know how he likes his privacy? Yeah, I really hope he doesn't take the boat out, though. That... That's never good. And that, that kid that he's got in there, he's just snooping around. I don't know why he's taking this so personal. As you get closer to the end of the dock, um, you'll hear spikes in what sounds like angry, like just kind of swearing and that kind of stuff. And every once in a while, you'll hear like an extra loud lapping of the waves. That is probably not actually the wave smacking against something. It is probably somebody being hit. Um, and as you reach the end of the dock you will actually see Vinny kind of stand back up from leaning over this guy and uh, kind of catching his breath a bit and wiping off his hands um, what do you want to do? Oh. either of you actually or of the three of you because I know Rod is around and, and flies by form as well Um, I'm, hold on, uh, Dante, you want to go ahead? I'm trying to formulate it. So, they were talking about going to the police, or make a donation to the policeman's ball and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Did it sound like they were talking also about, like, all of this about the same Vinny topic? and the boat leaving and stuff, or whatever? The impression that you got is that if... From what you know, if Vinny flies off the handle and probably, like, murders this guy or, like, shoots this guy or something, they're gonna have to do something to kind of... Gotcha. Keep the peace. Rather than if he takes the boat and he goes out into the sound and does whatever he's gonna do with the guy there, well, you know, that's a little bit more... Uh, open water. Yep. Not responsible. But as we have established, Vinny is not, or is no longer the, the calm, rational person. Some people might think. Okay. Uh, did they? Are they still talking about the same subject, or did they start talking about lasagna or something? <laughs> um, they're mobsters, not Garfield. Right. It's all the same. They're Buff they're kind cool. of continuing on with the conversation in a in a more expanded form than what I have given you. Um, down on the other end of the dock, did you formulate what you wanted? Yeah. Uh, questions first. Questions, of course. Um, if I dive into the water and sneak up to the boat, um, would I still would I have to make a separate stealth check? in addition to my swimming check? 
Um, how many dice do you have in swimming right now? You suck. Um, I have uh seven total. No, I wouldn't ask you because you're. It's not like you're not trying to avoid being shot or anything like that in the water. You're just trying to not drown as you go less than Yet. 10, 15 feet because you're going to like slip into the water on one side of the thing and then kind of go up to it. So if you want to just do another sneaking roll, um, you can swim up to the boat. Sure. Now, would my uh, urban specialty still apply to this? I'm going to say no because you're in the water. Figured. In that case, I am going to boost my agility. Sure. And that'll be cool, because this will only take you a couple of seconds to swim over there. Yeah. Alright, so that'll boost my agility by three, and it'll last for six combat turns. Yeah, which is plenty to uh, to get where you're trying to go. I should hope so. One sec. Nope. Gotta do it now. Oh. Are there any boxes or shipping crates I can snoop through while I'm in earshot of whatever they're talking about? Sure, if you want to give another sneaking test while you're, uh, like, for manipulating the boxes and stuff. Sure. Or you can, like, metal, metal Gear Solid it and just hide under a box. Rod, I really appreciate that you keep going with the humor thing. I have a lot of respect for that persistence and tenacity. He keeps trying, but I don't know if it's succeeding. That's, that's it's not right. about succeeding. It's not about succeeding. It's if you see a joke, you just you just make it and then worry about it later. It's just a philosophy of life. I love the fact that he's getting nothing and he's still doing it. Like it, it <laughs> five and up. Yeah, five five is good. So you're going to be able it's to reflexive to kind of come up to the boat. Um, you are going to be on Vinny's back. Um, are you gonna like pop your head up and look over, or are you just gonna kind of hang out and listen? Um, I would prefer to keep my head above water. Well, no, I mean like above the the edge of the boat to look in and and see the guy that is crumpled on the ground. Or are you just gonna kind of listen to the conversation? Um, you know what? I am going to. Where am I on the boat? Like what what end? Uh, towards the back. I'm imagining this is like a small fishing boat, you know, maybe okay. 25 foot. I don't know if that's big enough uh, for boats. I don't know. Is there, like, a ladder? Uh, sure. There's totally a ladder on the back end of it. Alright, I'm just gonna, like, uh, keep my feet on the bottom rung and, uh, so that I can dip back in if needed. Sure. So, as you're kind of sitting in there, uh, did we, I'm sorry, did we decide if you were looking over the edge or if you are just hanging out and listening? That's what I was implying, that I'm looking over the edge. Okay. Uh, can you give me a perception test, and we will see what we can figure out here. Sure. And here comes Jet's first critical glitch. Oh, shut wasn't your it mouth. Like, wasn't it like Dante, who had like a bazillion vision dice? I don't know. Maybe. I've got some. I'm not there, though. Man. And here comes some edge. <laughs> it's funny how that works sometimes. It's like you see your mother being beat up. Waiting for the delicious edge. Okay, so with four hits. Um, you're going to get a pretty good look at this guy and this guy is 
kind of looking at him, he's got a little bit of that like European in him. But getting a good look, you're going to see he's got a bit of some kind of Asian, maybe Japanese. Um, you will see Vinny spit on him and uh, give him a little bit of a kick before turning to his guys. Um, do you know anything about organized crime or... I mean, nobody apparently has the organized crime knowledge skill, which is... I've got black market and street gangs. If there's mm -hmm. any overlap... Uh, give me a gang. Let's see what the gangs comes up with. Sure. Or, actually, as this is a, unfortunately incredibly appropriate, if you could roll your Hong Kong action cinemas. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. So you can see on this guy, like he's had his shirt ruffled, he's had the crap kicked out of him, but you can kind of see, like on the uh, the top back of his shoulder, you can see enough of a tattoo that lets you think that this guy is, while he's probably not actually official Yakuza because he's not full-blooded Japanese, you can, you know, he looks enough of a, of a mix of something else in there to to throw that off, but he's got enough of what looks like a tattoo that you're like. He probably works for the Yakuza. Yeah. Meanwhile, we have Dante, who's who's opening up some crates and looking in things. Um, you're going to find a couple of interesting things in here. You're going to find some AK-97s, some AK-98s, and I believe it was a Dragon Off was the sniper rifle? I believe so. So that's what you're going to find in there as we get ready and take our second break of the night. <laughs>